going up and up is magic with the gang we ball out it can't get tragic all we got we gon' let you let you have it stuck in my ways think i need to change my habits what would you do if you were me and didn't have look in the mirror now i'm feeling like a savage tell my son i love him for him i'ma make it happen now my dreams reality not going back to back to you say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laughing. Now I hit the scene, they like lights, camera action. Living in a dream, now my music, they be blasting. Step out, I'm a star, always in the latest fashion. Had to set the bar, bar try to catch me lacking. Bank account for my son, he won't have to struggle. You can see it in my eyes, all I do is hustle. They tried to knock me off my feet, I'm ready to rumble. Felt like I ain't eight in weeks, working off the muscle. Oh yeah, oh my, we ride for my brothers, no lie, all you, all you can die, never wrong, they right, I ain't changing my side, yeah, we in it for life, it's up and up is magic, with the gang, we ball out, it can't get tragic, all we got, we gon' let you, let you have it, stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits, what would you do if you were me and didn't have it? look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage, tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Coach, as the 2019 regular season starts speeding toward a conclusion, not too many games remain to be played here in Oakland, California. This was the scene a few minutes ago. The folks around the stadium clad in silver and black going to make every last game played in Oakland count. They're ready to go as their Raiders get set to match up with Matthew Stafford and the Detroit Lions. Stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. They had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Check, check. Fresno, Fresno, Fresno. On the toss, here's Johnson. And again, the run defense stopped this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. A quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. And that's complete to Jesse James. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Let's get off the field. Let's get off. From the gun, here's Stafford. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. No game that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. And Amendola with a catch. Touchdown, Detroit. Danny Amendola, his first touchdown on the year. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Prater for the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. 
This fielded at the two. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 23. Now the first round pick from Alabama, Josh Jacobs. Call it a gain of four on first and that'll make it second down. To throw on second and six, Carr. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. A good grab there by the former Central Michigan man, Antonio Brown. And he ate up some real estate on the catch too, didn't he? I think the most impressive part of it, though, if there's a chance for him to get the football, even though he was covered well, he somehow finds a way to get it. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. And he's got his tight end. This is Luke Wilson. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 24-yard line. Well, Wilson gives Oakland a veteran option at tight end. Remember, they had Jared Cook last year. He's now in New Orleans. But Wilson, five years in Seattle, then one in Detroit before the native of Windsor, Canada, signed with Oakland back in March. Damon Harrison, the one on the stop. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On second and nine, Carr. That is caught at the seven. 16 yards, a first down. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpointing here. Yeah, so I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. From the gun, it's Carr. That is caught by Brown. Touchdown, Raiders. Antonio Brown, his fourth touchdown on the year as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown, their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They toss it out right to Johnson. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. On third down, Stafford. James has got it. Complete. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. 
The Oakland offense about ready to start this next drive. And still a lot of football to be played in this season. We're only in November. A lot can happen between now and January. But if it ended today, they would just be on the outside of the playoff picture looking in. So a lot to fight for. Yeah, and wasn't it interesting in our meeting with, with the coaching staff that they all made sure to let us know. We know who we are right now. But the playoffs don't start tomorrow. We still got some time, and they plan on putting it together, formulating a streak, get the whole month of December still left to play. They think they can get in. And they made it very obvious to us that there's no playoff talk in the locker room right now. It's win this game and look to next week. Excellent focus. Second quarter from Oakland, the homestanding Raiders with the football here. They're up against a third and two to start things out. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away, incomplete. So it looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one. Knock it away and brings up a fourth down decision. Here comes Amendola. A great return there of 22 yards. And the Lions will take over. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Pretty good running there, nine yards. Sets up a third and one. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. And the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Stafford gives to Johnson on the draw. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll punt it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. This is fielded at the seven. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them they control you. Weaving through traffic and now he's free. And he cuts it back right and he's got a crease. And he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag on the field. And I don't think this is going to stand. Yeah, don't put the points on the board just yet. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101. He's got a man complete. He's at the 40, the 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. Luke Wilson, an even 90 yards, and the Raiders have taken the lead. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25 yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? 
So what was the formula that got him down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. The tackle there by LaMarcus Joyner. From the 29, Stafford. And he rifles one incomplete. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. To throw is Stafford. And that is incomplete. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. And this is a way. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. The Lakers take over first and 10. Let's go. At their own 23-yard line. The Oakland offense about ready to start this next drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Throwing his car on third down. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. Solid gain of 18 and a Raider first down. First nine seasons in the league for Brown were, of course, in Pittsburgh. Last year, though, growing concerns of his dissatisfaction in his role with the Steelers and the quibbles with Ben Roethlisberger. So he ends up being traded to the Raiders in March. Seven-time Pro Bowler, six straight years of at least 1,200 yards and eight touchdowns. Not a bad stretch. What a talent for Derek Carr to have on his side. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. On second down, Jacobs pushing forward for three up to the 48. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Shotgun now for Carr. They're able to locate Wilson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. A gain of three, second down. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. All right, coming up at intermission. Charles, you want to wait to enhance your Saturday? I certainly do. Uh, I've got just a thing for you. It's the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by Orlando. He'll be alongside at half the ten. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tavon Wilson. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And right now these guys are shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Up 
front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What, what can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys and continue to get upfield and find a way to use that against them and slip things in behind them. So some quick passes could work as well. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The Lions on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and 11. The shotgun snap for Stanford. Throw left side, taken in by Galladay. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. They dialed up the blitz on third down, and your worry is a defense that they can hit you with a big play in that situation. Instead, the blitz pays off, able to rally to the football and make the play. Here's Sam Martin now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. Time here for likely a couple plays if they want it, but with the field position what it is, maybe better suited to just sit on this one? I'm with you totally. I would sit on it and get into the locker room and, and start over. But if they do decide to try and make a play, we know what the basics are. You run draw, you run screen. I would maybe run a little swing pass and try and get my lineman out in space and see if they can chop a hole into the secondary and see if he can run a little bit. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. That's fielded in the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Carr. He'll find his running back here, Richard. A good pick. Pick up there, 26 yards. So here, the men in charge are going to be looking at whether or not the receiver had possession of the ball as he went out of bounds. And they have to make sure that the receiver got both feet down in bounds as well. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustment, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Okay, ready? Hey, echo. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. Buying time to his left. 
And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. Here's Brian Anger now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll back up a few steps as he'll make the fair catch at about the 8-yard line. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And the Lions are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now Stafford. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll take a break and get a report from Oakland after this. Ready. 180. Hey, tight, tight down. On first and ten, Stanford. Open man is Galladay complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And it'll be second and 12. Stanford now to throw. He'll find a man over the middle. It's Galladay. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Danny Amendola, the man he was trying to get it to. And that'll bring up second down. To throw again. Stafford. Got his man complete over the middle. That's James. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys. In Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Vontez Perfect. The 40, 30, past the 20. Are in for six. Touchdown. Short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's got some space here. Down the numbers. There he goes. Touchdown, Detroit. From one end zone to the other, 101 yards. As his guys are back within a single score. That was a special return, and it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. But let's be honest, a lot of times when they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? Yeah, exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules. And if you do, you're taking on some responsibility. But he was happy to do so there.
The Oakland offense about ready to start this next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. At the 22-yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Once again, it's Jacobs. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. 24th pick in the spring by Oakland was Josh Jacobs. Only rushed for 640 yards last year at Alabama, but when you consider the offensive depth chart they had, it makes it understandable. So young, won't turn 22 until February, and they're really hoping that the veteran presence of 30-year-old Doug Martin can be a guiding light for Jacobs. They try to jet sweep with Nelson, and that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and that'll make this a second and 13. Now they'll throw with Carr. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Carr going to throw. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There was nothing available there for him. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 right at the 30. They begin the drive with Johnson. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Throwing a Stafford. Flush to his right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Stafford, he finds a rookie from Iowa, T.J. Hawkinson. First time they've looked his way in this game, he comes through picking up the first. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. If you're thinking of a comeback here, you go to 2016. That's when Stafford had an NFL record eight fourth quarter comebacks. But last year, despite playing all 16 games, he had zero. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Again, it's Stafford. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know. Blitz coming and down he goes. 
Well, a free safety blitz, that can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on for the fifth time here today. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Running the toss here to Jacobs. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. It's been a long day for you. From the gun, it's Carr. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Devon Kennard. In there to get him for a loss of nine yards. And that also leads to fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Amendola set to return it. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out, give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. Johnson with a burst, a first down or more. And he's finally down at the 21-yard line. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Stafford. James has got it. Complete. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. To throw a Stafford. Out left to Anderson. Call it a pickup of seven, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Now Stafford. Boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Only a yard on the third down throw, and that leads to a fourth down.
One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. On the sneak, it's Stafford. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Let's go. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. He'll look to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. And if you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? They'll look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Danny Amendola. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. As they can now tie the game with the extra point here in the final two minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. This fielded at the two. Oh, he shifts past him. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Back to throw, Carr. And this is going to be intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window and everything is flipped in the other direction. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. There's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. The chance of wasting this great starting field position. A real threat. This is third and long. They give to Johnson going right. And they're going to drop him well shy of the first as he can only make it to the 11. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there. It gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So 
Tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. They practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you were wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for the Lions, they finally taste victory for the first time after seven straight defeats. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to the Windy City to take on the Bears. Meanwhile, for the Raiders, they fall two games under 500 now at 3-5. and five. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. All my records go hard, this a champion hit yeah. I've been working for this moment like I've been in the gym Jumping all over hurdles, I'm evading a pit Can't yeah. yeah. hit with anybody, take them, I can shake them yeah. I invite them to the fire, then I bake them, I'ma break them I'm a Hall of Fame legend, they should go and hang my jersey yeah. Made to put in work, I don't think they really heard me like yeah. Move the chains, I'm about to make a play, make a play. Move the chains, tell them get about the way, the way. Move the chains, I'm about to win the game, the game. Move the chains, baby, tell them move the chains yeah. Ain't no stopping me, ain't no topping me, I am up uh, uh. Number one seed, ain't nobody popping from the jungle suited up yeah. you kicking off against me hope you ready get it up i be booted up popping out a sprinter or a truck whole team chasing bags while they chasing us calling audible i read the game i think it's time to switch you get hit if i miss then my teammates got the blitz 
Competition shouldn't take shots, take notes, please. Yeah, yeah, uh. Reporting live from the winner's side. Ready, try, keep a different vibe. Is you down the ride, down the tide. You will never know, you ain't never tried. Work it out, hit the gym, hit the field. Hit the wind. Hey, yo, I need that. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard on the job, you can see that. On my head is real good, we don't need your feedback. They clear the way with my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase up the rings. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase up the rings. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase up the rings. Yeah, the beats, leave it in the street. Chase on the news. What I do? Lace up my shoes, chase W's. Great colored coops. Oh no, no, I couldn't be number two. MVP the league most valuable. They sweet as apple juice. So Talking trophies, I didn't grab the few, can't match this attitude. I wear my heart on my sleeve, please. I move like the wind, can't catch this breeze, freeze. Stop you in your tracks, there's not no preseason. We seeking W's like Tupac used to throw up. Forget it, might as well forfeit your team, shouldn't even show up. What you want to be when you grow up? They used to ask me. Naturally, I chose an athlete. Competition never matched me. We ain't go together. Like camouflage and polka dots. Focus on your position, just know your spot. Show don't stop, it's a long season. They planning on winning for the wrong reasons. Trying to get my number retired. I can't let these frauds beat us. I figured out the recipe. Never let opponents get the best of me. I'm focused on my legacy. I need that. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard on the job. You can see that. On my head is real good. We don't need your feedback. They clear the way with my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. Yeah. Yeah. beats, leave it in the street. Case on the news. Like they know me, cause I'm going big. 